How's it going, everyone? I'm really excited that you're here. As a fellow tech enthusiast, I think this will be a good episode for you. So we're gonna walk you through how to set up Open Interpreter. This will be an installation on Mac OS. So before we dive in, go grab your favorite drink. Mine is a bourbon cold brew, and let's get started. So Open Interpreter is a powerful Python project and it allows you to execute your code locally on your machine. Also can communicate with the internet and that's pretty awesome. So now you can take your large language models like ChatGPT and CodeLama, write and execute code and yeah, keep building. So let's uh, jump into the installation. All right, so if you head over to the GitHub, important to always check out the readme. You don't have to download the repository. There's a pip installer here for Open Interpreter. Uh, make sure your Python's installed. Make sure you have pip installed. If you want, it uh, also might be a good idea to install a virtual environment so you can keep your Open Interpreter installation isolated from the rest of your system. Uh, I'll drop a link to some guides if you're interested on that. Grab that pip install command, paste it in your terminal, and hit run. What it's gonna do is it's gonna install all the dependencies to run Open Interpreter. To execute this thing, run interpreter, and you're gonna see, uh, depending on the environment variable you pass to interpreter, in this case, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5, it then asks you to put in your Open API key. Uh, if you haven't gotten your Open API key, you can head over to the website, I'll also drop a link, check out pricing, it is uh, pretty minimal, so that's, that's good news. But uh, once you get that key installed, you're up and running. Um, just doing a ping test here to see, make sure it's working. <laughs> and then now, uh, yeah, so it gets a little creepy. Uh, somehow Open Interpreter, or should I say ChatGPT, knew my name. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's because it was looking at the system, so it knows I'm the logged in user, or because I'm using Open API's key. Either way, uh, Open Interpreter tried to lie to me about uh, <laughs> what it knows so I'll definitely be venting about that let's keep going so what we're gonna do now is just run through a really simple CSV so the CSV file is I don't know there's probably like uh, 35 columns across 150 rows when you drop the CSV file it says okay I need to install pandas it will execute that code for you that's really cool you know if you jump on stack overflow and you're trying to figure out how to run a csv file then you got to go figure out the dependencies it's nice that uh it knows what it needs to do asks you if it should install it and then installs it so once i uh get the dependencies and i drop in the csv file you see that it actually executes the python code that it needed to run to then determine what this table looks like it's not the greatest in uh, terminal but you know it, I think it does the job. I ask it to tell me what is in this document. And as you can see, it kind of fails out. I don't know what that is. It is a little frustrating because you don't have chat history. So if you have to close your terminal tab, it's gone. So there's obviously some limitations. This is a newer software or whatever. So, you know, um, we'll still continue to experiment with it and keep you guys updated on what's happening. This is a good time to take a break and talk about our sponsor, Private Internet Access. Been using private internet access for a very long time. It's great because you can quick connect to many, many servers across the globe and their latencies are all pretty short, obviously, depending on your region. But either way, when you're browsing on public internet, you're at some sketchy Wi Fi, or maybe you're just looking at some of your banking details, um, it's always good to have a VPN. And private internet access works across all your devices, including a Fire Stick. So it's pretty awesome. Um, check the link below if you're interested. All right, so the interpreter reset wasn't working either. Like this thing failed out. So basically I had to just quit and restart, drop my key in again and just make sure things weren't broken. Uh, but either way, that's a short install of Open Interpreter, uh, kind of guiding you through how to get it set up. It is really easy to get set up. Um, let me know, you know, have you guys installed this? You run into any issues? What things have you tried in there? Um, what has worked, what hasn't? I'll continue to let you guys know as I work through this. But uh, yeah, so now you're up and running. So to wrap this up, you've got Open Interpreter installed on your Mac and now you can unlock Unleash your ninja coding skills with the help of Open Interpreter. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what challenges have you faced with Open Interpreter? What have you got to work? What isn't working? Uh, definitely drop a comment. Ask me questions if you need help getting stuff installed. But until next time, happy coding. All right, take care.